Hey Aquarius, how you doing? I'm going to be doing a bonus read here for you for the Aquarius full moon. So we're just going to jump right into it. See what energies are coming out here. Um, these are general readings, so just take what resonates. And if you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below. Starting off the reading here with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Let's see what is crossing you, what's blocking you here. The Four of Pentacles, interesting. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. So let's see your recent past here. We'll get all the cards out, see what's going on. Let's see the recent past here for Aquarius. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you guys, you might be, you know, may have dealt with two people, or maybe there's a past connection here that a um, little bit sneaky, a little bit, you know, something was off with the Queen of Cups energy. Um, and then you're kind of dealing with or maybe meeting this Queen of Wands type of energy, fire energy. Um, but you're kind of keeping to yourself. You're hold, holding back here. So let's see what's going on. Let's see the focus. The Five of Cups, still looking at the past here. This is an energy of, you know, looking back at what you've invested into, but not looking back at these two cups. I kind of feel like you guys are trying to open up to this here, or at least this new connection. If you're not talking to this person yet, you are going to be, you know, there's a new connection coming in for you, okay? But this Four of Pentacles is like keeping to yourself, keeping very um, closed off, not wanting to open up to any new connections right now. Um, let's see the possibilities here. We do have the High Priestess, Pisces energy coming out. So the High Priestess, obviously it's about intuition, but it's also about taking some time out. Um, there's a sense of awakening. There's deep meditation here. Um, it feels like you're, you're taking some time out for yourself. So let's see. Let's see the near future here. Near future for Aquarius. What is the near future? We do have the Four of Swords. I was just saying, taking some time out for yourself. It's like, you know, you've been through something where you, you've invested so much into this, okay? And now you're getting a new opportunity, you know? Maybe this is someone else that offers you something or you have your eyes on something here. You're thinking about it. But there's a sense of pulling back your energy and taking some time out for yourself so you can kind of really figure out is this what I want right now? Uh, I feel like you're, you're kind of concentrating on something else. We do have the star here. So maybe you guys are going through a period of healing right now. Um, just trying to work things out here. So let's see your power, your feels, what's going on. We do have the two of pentacles. So there's some juggling going on here. Needing to make a choice. You're kind of like back and forth in a situation. It's a little bit of a past situation coming in, in the picture and a future situation too. So it's like, this for some of you guys, not everyone, you know, there's a sense of um, not wanting to let go, okay? Um, but it feels like it's becoming easier to where you could, um, how do you say this? It's like letting go, but not necessarily like, you know, forgetting about this person, right? So let's see the environment here. The Seven of Swords. And we were kind of looking at that Seven of Swords here with your past energy. So we're going to see what this is all about. Let's see the hopes and fears here. Could have a sneaky energy, someone that is trying to just be sneaky around you. Could be, you know, maybe it's just someone that you tell things to, but they're, they're you know, taking this information to someone else. Let's see. Hopes and fears. We do have the Ten of Cups. So you are looking at your happiness here, something that you want to have in the future. So let's see the potential outcome here for Aquarius. What is the potential outcome here for Aquarius? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I mean, definitely there's a new connection coming towards you. All right, Aquarius. But like in this outcome, the potential outcome with the King of Pentacles, it feels like it's more you. It's like you taking charge here. Now, the King of Pentacles energy, this is someone that um, is very grounded, uh, focuses on their finances, their stability, um, you know, basically has their head on their shoulders, right? Um, and when they make a plan or they when they make decisions here, um, they do take some time to make this decision. They're making smart decisions in their life. And I feel like this is you getting to that energy to where if you move into something else, you know, maybe it's a work situation, whatever it is, you are analyzing this a lot more than you have in the past. So you don't make the same mistakes again, right? And I said, 
there could be a new connection, new opportunity that is coming for you. But I feel like there's a past energy here that's still weighing around you here. So let's just see what's this Four of Pentacles. That is your challenge. Let's see why, why is that there for Aquarius? Why is that there? Four of Pentacles. What is this Four of Pentacles here for Aquarius? We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so, I mean, Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, it is, it is a card of wish fulfillment, um, but also about you just kind of focusing on your happiness, right? So it feels like you're being closed off because, you know, it's like this energy of if you do get involved with something else or whatever the case is, you're, you're just like, you know, this may affect of what I'm trying to focus on right now. And right now you're focusing on your emotions, your happiness, just your mental health really is where, where you're going. You just don't want to be in this energy of, you know, seven of swords and stuff like that. You kind of want to take some time out for yourself. Let me see one more card on the nine of cups here. We have the higher font and the higher font is, you know, it is about contracts, institutions, something long term here. But I feel like you're more concentrating towards long term goals, long term success. You know, um, anything that comes towards you here, you want to make sure this is something that is not going to be in and out energy. This is something that you want to, you know, move along with for the long run. But it's also something here that you are analyzing and making sure this is the right decision. Then we look back at the High Priestess and the Four of Swords. It's like, yeah, you need to take some time out to really analyze the situation before making a decision. So your challenge here in this, this spread is you, you know, there's a sense of, you know, wanting your wish fulfillment, wanting something long-term and committed, but it's also a sense of need, you needing to open up a little bit here, okay? So um, it's about a little bit of healing. We did see the star earlier. It's needing to let go of something here that has happened in the past. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups, and I have the environment of the Seven of Swords. So there was something here that, um, you know, maybe you lost trust in someone, maybe someone cheated on you, lied to you, um, you know, maybe promised everything but didn't really come through with it, you know, that type of energy is what you're trying to heal and, and you lost trust with with anyone else that you come across. So that's um, that's what's going on here. So you're juggling, you know, what do I, what do, I do? Do I want to just be single, move on, you know, with my own thing or, uh, but for some of you guys, there's an energy of someone here interested in you. So let's see this two of pentacles over here. Um, why is, why is there two of pentacles here? We have the eight of swords. This is why there's juggling going on. There's a sense that, um, you know, you are looking for clarity. Um, and I do have the, I have the ace of swords underneath here. There's a sense of you wanting to clear your mind a little bit, you know, just taking a break, uh, clear your energy is what I'm getting here. So maybe you need to take some time out and just do some, you know, some cleansing, whatever whatever works for you. It's going to be different for everyone. Maybe you're just going out and getting a massage. Maybe you're going out in nature, uh, you know, watching a good movie, whatever. It's going to be a lot different for everyone here, but this is holding you back. Again, trying to open up, trying to juggle a situation from the past. It feels like Eight of Swords energy, feeling restricted, feeling that like you can't move forward, trying to find an answer here, right? So, Let's see the Seven of Swords here. What happened with the Seven of Swords in your environment? You could just also have a sneaky person around you. You have the Six of Swords. I feel like you're deciding to move away from anything or a situation that has, you know, been where you had a friend, family member, or whoever it is. Could be an ex person here with you um, that you're moving away from. You're moving away from energies that are sneaky and not truthful, right? So you're kind of analyzing, you're using your intuition quite a bit here. You're kind of looking at the people that you're around, co-workers, friends, and you're just kind of analyzing how they're acting, how they're talking. Um, for some of you guys, you're very tactful in how you ask your questions, and um, depending on how they answer is how you dictate if they're going to be part of your life or, or you're going to let them go. That's kind of what's going on. Um, let's see this Ten of Cups, because you're hoping for happiness here. You have the Nine of Cups working on your emotions, working on your happiness right now, but you also want the Ten of Cups is, you know, also with someone else. So it's like Nine of Cups fulfilled by yourself. The higher Our higher font is doing fine, um, but then it's also the Ten of Cups is like, yeah, you do want something else in the future here. Death card, Scorpio energy. So there's a sense that um, there is you, you're basically in this transformation. 
you're kind of ending on you know old cycles starting a new cycle here this is like a process this is going to be a little bit of time before you kind of get to this level this king of pentacles we have hangman pisces energy underneath here as well let's see the king of pentacles what's this king of pentacles here the king of cups so it's it's an energy of you see the king of cups is also very intuitive as well i feel as though you're going to have I have the three of wands underneath here. Give me one second. Let me see this. Because we have two kings on the board. Let's see the king of pentacles. Who is this king of cups then? Who is this king of cups? You have the eight of wands. You might have somebody that you are not talking to right now. Five of pentacles energy. So there's an energy coming back around towards you, Aquarius. But there's also an energy here that you're in this king of pentacles. It doesn't matter the gender. You're in more of an energy of being very financially stable and confident. Uh, but you also have, you know, the King of Cups here with the Eight of Wands. This is communication, Sagittarius energy here. This is someone that has blocked you or maybe you have cut this off in the past. What's the intentions of this King of Cups and this Eight of Wands here? We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so communication towards you. So they missed out on the opportunity, Four of Cups here. So you do have somebody here that um, that you were probably in a connection with or, you know, maybe wanted to be in a connection with. This There is someone coming back around, all right, in your reading. There's someone coming back around wanting to communicate towards you because they feel like they missed out on an opportunity. But you're in this King of Pentacles energy. You're very strong. It's like you're, you've stepped into, you're not the same person that you used to be is what's going on here because you went through a transformation. Or some of you guys are going through a transformation as well. Again, a lot of this is about taking time out for yourself. So this is Four Swords. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands energy is about uh, stability, um, home environment. Maybe you stayed at home a lot, you know, stuff like that. Just taking time out to where you're kind of more in your own, you know, your own safe environment, right? Let's see the High Priestess here. The Emperor. So, you know, you are in this energy. It doesn't matter the gender, like I said, but you have you have your boundaries up. The emperor energy, this is more masculine energy, trying to create stuff for yourself. Intuitively, you're taking a break or you have taken a break where you're just kind of recharging your energy so you can kind of come through and kind of get this, kind of go through this transformation, get your Ten of Cups energy, and you're working on your Nine of Cups with the Hierophant. So you could be a healer or maybe someone comes to you with advice or needing advice. Maybe you give advice, you know, something like that. But um, you do come out as the king of pentacles. We're very grounded and stable here. But you do have a communication from someone from the past. King of cups energy. Because they missed out on an opportunity. I just don't see. I mean, see with the nine of wands energy, it's like you're, you're blocking this. But see, this energy is stopping something here. Because there's a new connection with that ten of cups. There's a future new connection here. But... This part about opening up with that four of pentacles is like very keeping to yourself here. This is blocking you from this new connection because there's still unfinished business here with this past connection here. So let's see the three cards. Advice, any, what, what is the outcome here with this, this past connection too? I want to see that. Let's see the three cards here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Strength, Leo energy. With the Fool. And you have the two of swords underneath here. So for a lot of you guys, you're going to be in this energy of like trying to make a decision, trying to see that, you know, if I do move forward, you know, how is it going to look? There's a lot of future thinking here. Um, you know, the advice here with the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, and the Fool, it's like there's a new beginning here for you, you know, if you want it, if you want it. Um, it it's entirely your choice. So again, we all have free will to to let go and move on and meet new people. And maybe, you, like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys have this energy around you and uh, with the wheel of fortune it's saying that things the good luck is coming towards you here so it's like you know take action on really what you want and your hopes and fears up here is a ten of cups energy you've went through already something where you ended a cycle something that was toxic or maybe there's something sneaky something you couldn't trust in the past and it's saying to move forward from that with the six of swords energy and and get into this more stable confident energy with the strength card too is being confident um and also just taming taming yourself here it's like 
you need to pull back to where you are not putting that energy towards someone that doesn't really deserve it, you know? Not going to be for everyone, but I'm saying in this, this read here, there's someone here that was sneaky, okay? Didn't really give you what you wanted. Someone that was playing both parts of something here. Um, now they feel like maybe something didn't work out on their end. They want to come back around with communication. They want to, because again, they missed out on an opportunity here with you. Um, so they kind of want their own new beginning because they're kind of being more like, I missed out on an opportunity and I want Aquarius. But Aquarius here has an option. You can either stay focused on this Five of Cups energy, kind of just look at stuff that didn't work out and do that again, possibly. Not going to be for everyone, just saying it's a chance, right? Or you can look at the Two of Cups behind you and look at this. Wheel of Fortune, Strength, the Fool, to your Ten of Cups, Transformed, Death Card, in your King of Pentacles energy. You have the Hierophant here, the Nine of Cups. I mean, you have, as long as you open up, this is a, this is a whole reading is about you opening up. Because remember, the Four of Pentacles is crossing you, blocking you from what you want, right? So you're just closed up, trying to keep, you know, not trying to open up to other people. And that's what's holding you back here. So it's a very, you know, it's one of those things where it's hard to do for a lot of people because, you know, you could be coming fresh off this connection. Your mind really wants this past connection. And that's understandable. But um, in time, you know, the energy I can see here, you're going to be shifting towards, there's a really good connection there for you. It's just kind of like needing to open up and seeing that. You're just really closed off with this Two of Swords here, okay? I'm going to leave you right there, Aquarius. But um, if this resonated, please do hit that like button. And um, yeah, I'll come out with some more videos. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so. If, if you do, vibe with me here. So, and um, and we'll see you. Take it easy.